Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you today. I want to thank you for all the love that you guys sent me yesterday. I am overflowing with joy and peace and love. Last night I had the most beautiful dream of me and my son at a beautiful beach city skateboarding on the perfect skate park. All of my beautiful memories are of me and my children, me and my daughter surfing and a beautiful warm sun on our skin and the perfect waves and the laughing and the sharing of life and energy for they are the Spirit of God in form. That's what's important. Do you realize who you are, who your children are? Many years ago I heard God call out my true name. It wasn't Winston, it wasn't James, it wasn't the Magus. He called out my true name and everything changed. Before I tried to find my identity in things, in form, in lie and illusion. I wanted to be Mercedes. My car was very important to me. I kept it immaculate. If my kids dented it, I would scream at them because that was my identity. I wanted people to see I'm important and valuable in the clothes I wore and the logos and my sunglasses. Everything had a name on it that wasn't my name and it never satisfied. I didn't realize who I was and who my children were after I heard my new name and realized who I am and who my children are, everything changed. Now, when there's a stain on my couch, I don't care what anyone else thinks. I'm so blessed because it reminds me of the beautiful night of Pillow Land, we called it. We take all the pillows and blankets and get in our jammies and cuddle up and watch a video and eat popcorn. And when I saw the stain on the couch, I remembered spending time with the Spirit of God, my children, and loving them. God is love. God is life and I held them and his beautiful memories and I hold on to those. I'm way up in North Idaho. My daughter's in Florida. My son's in California. But those memories of spending time with them are so beautiful. I dream about them at night and I see little remembrances around. Now I wish I could see the dent in the car that they made with the ball. <laughs> It's never too late. While you're in the land of the living, you can still love. You can still awaken. You can choose to know only good and not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Maybe you've been lied to. Maybe presented a monster God that said, Don't spare the rod! <laughs> that taught you hate. And you thought you were doing the right thing even though inside it grieved you when you hit them and screamed at them. You're saving their soul from hell. You didn't know. Can you forgive yourself? Can you say you're sorry to yourself? Can you say you're sorry to your children? Maybe you feel it's too late. Maybe they've passed. But let me tell you something. Death cannot take away life. They can hear you right now. They're always with you. They already know this, but maybe say it for yourself. I'm sorry. I didn't know I'm sorry. Can you forgive yourself? Can you say to your true self, your true name, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No only good. I'm going to read from the second statement and teaching of Asha. Perceive and understand only the good and let your experience and practice be the same. Be aware at all times of your high standing, your true name. Be aware at all times, always remembering the covenant written on your mind that you might not forget you are a child of the King. It's so easy these days to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You can just grab your TV remote and you can go to perversion 
to violence, to fear, to hate, and you take in that energy and vibration. Everything is energy and vibration. Whether you eat it with your mouth or your eyes or your ears, you're taking it into you and it's becoming a part of you. You can eat something not good for you and it makes your form ill. You can hear something that can make you sad. You can watch something that makes you angry and you vibrate that and you become that. You may have been taught that to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was something that happened thousands of years ago and there's nothing you can do about it. We're cursed. That is not true. We live in the now. Right now is what's important. As I've taught you, the past is not real. You can't touch it. Try to touch it. Try to feel it. Try to smell it. You can't. Right now is what's important. Right now, take into you the life of Jesus. Jesus said, eat my flesh and drink my blood. Take into him your life, his life. You are one with the Father. You are love. You are peace. You are joy. That is your true identity. Know only that. Know only God. You are created in his image. That is what is real. Only take into you the highest vibrations. Lose the ideas of the monster God of hate and war and killing. The true God Ahura Mazda. The one that Jesus taught and he was crucified for. Today, know only good. When you come to the end of your life here in time space, you're not going to care about what car you had or how many clothes you had in the closet or that your house was bigger than someone else's house. You're going to care about how much love you gave and how much you were loved. The time you spent well with your family and loved ones and friends. Don't waste a precious moment. Each of you are valuable and needed. Today, let your gift touch someone. Send out a prayer. Give a word of encouragement. Be God's ambassador on the earth today. I love you guys. Bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow.